Maybe maybe because they had Rancom on Jaina and they didn't want a second mage. But Crummy, I feel like, put it in so that much better. That was the thing behind it. Oh, we're and on I, Dragonshire. I sorry, sorry, this is a different map. Like, this is such a... Those other maps are so big. And this one that we're getting into now is, like, a much tighter map. You've got those two bottom lanes, especially close. You often do a four-person rotation from mid to bottom, capturing a lot of the globes and stuff, if you want to do anything with that. Do you ban a global hero still on this one? Will you ban a new break? Man, I haven't, I haven't played this map other than at custom games since for for years. It, has, it just hasn't been in the rotation. I love this map too. Yeah. What do you ban? I mean, you see them ban the Zul and use Foul doing it. So there has to be a reason for it. I assume because wasn't it like you had one person in a lane? You have one. Person you have one person top. in a lane, and then you rotate back and forth. Is that how we did it? You have one like, person uh, like a... and you have four rotating from mid to, to okay. bottom. Okay. Oh, like two minutes behind. Then, that, right? then yeah. that is why you ban Zul. Uh, yeah. Because you put you put Zul with the rotators. Um, so not it's only are you instantly thing. killing the waves, you're spawning five skeletons on top, and the, the towers become instantly out of ammo. Right. So your, your team will always have the vision advantage. Uh, you'll always be able to push towers that are ammo-less if uh, the other team's out of position. He's just he's so good at the rotation maps. And not as a solo laner, which you might think he would be. Okay. He okay, he he, he rolls with the rotators. Him him and Joanna on, on Tomb of the Spider Queen is fucking insane. They will instantly kill the waves, get all the gems, and the towers will be out of ammo in two minutes. Goldan's got to be a priority on this map too, though, right? Because he can rotate so fast. Uh, False that's actually really good here. There it is. Yeah, there we go. Cigar is going to be a solo laner, probably. Yeah, Cigar is actually really good here too. Solo laner with safety because of rewarding. Right. So to, what are they going to do to counter Zagara then? Is there a counter for Zagara really solo lane? Really? I don't. Uh, Zagara really, feels pretty good so. when I was playing Zagara. Gan Ganking her, yeah, because he can't see her coming. Thrall is always a really good pick um, for a solo laner. He's a bully. He might be able to stand up to her as the game goes later. But it looks right. like they did an easy bow to counter the Zagara, which isn't, I don't think, a great pick. No, it isn't. It, it's, it's a good pick just late looking, game. Yeah, he's just looking to survive the lane with that pick. Yeah, sure. Kalthus will be a too, ganker. Right? Yeah, and then Kalthus here with Kalthus. It's just a comfort pick. Yeah, a comfort pick that is good, right? I mean, it's going to be good for the team fights. There's a lot of small spaces in this tight in between the lanes. And... Yeah. Because you do so much transition between the lanes that you can get caught out. I don't feel like they've gone any real... Like, I feel like Arthas is a melee counter pick, and I don't feel like they've really shown their melee yet. Maybe... They have played against Arthas two games that are only don't want to deal with Shinji Gusta anymore. That's fair. With the dragon especially on top of that? Yeah, and they didn't have a um a tank yet, so. I feel like uh, blue team is gonna go in a new break, right? No. Uh, the Oriole again, that's interesting. Yeah, he Oriole actually does not have a battery. I don't like that pick. No, that's terrible. That's not a good pick. And then they've lost the chance for a new break versus Kalthus. Yeah, that did not like that royal pick. Again, it might be a comfort pick that he it was that or Lili. I think it's for him. it's it's not. No, I, I have inside Lili information. I, wait, I have, I have inside information. The last game, he was reading the skills because it was like first time Oriole. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So Oriole wasn't a good pick anyway. Sorry, Lili wasn't a good pick anyway because they don't really need the blinds. The most of the damage comes from range. So what well, is a good. What is a good comfort pick for them over that? Because there's no Uther, no uh, Malfurion, no Oriole, no Lili because they don't need the blinds. I, just What's next? I don't like it. I don't like the Oriole pick at all here. He, she doesn't have a way to get energy. So it's a run day. Uh, no, U Uther would have been. Uther's banned. He was first oh, was banned by Blue. Because oh, okay, yeah. okay. uh, I said Uther then... too, and then I looked and went, no, he's banned. Uh, they banned him Rhaegar, of all things. Rhaegar, maybe. Oh, Rhaegar. Maybe what about Rhaegar. Uh, Morales? Let's see, do they have any sort of die for him? Morales would have been okay. Yeah, if he can position right. Yeah, they got a that could go in. They'd have to both commit to it, though. I feel it really weird. It would have been possible. They, have, they would have had Gus on their side, though, in a team fight. Right, right. I feel really weird. Like, like Falstead was picked, then a new bracket on the other side, so they picked a Chromie. Is that a good pick? Chromie might outrange, maybe? Chromie here? Yeah, it could, it could be for... Like, if you have people trying to sit on shrines or hiding in the bushes next to shrines, she could really, like, poke them out of out of the way. Well, that's a smaller but map, huh? They also have two immobile, two immobile mages, too, I think, more importantly. 
10 seconds. I'm a little bit worried about the, the fact that they have two like really Five, fat frontliners on the right side, on the red three, side. Yeah. Two, How do they deal with that? One. With that team yeah. comp? I mean, Anubarek oh, no. and Tyrael can both dive. Quite easily, yeah. yeah. I feel like the goal should be to like try Off, not to five v five. Yeah. Like Valdor yeah. needs to pull back. At the same time, though, like aside from the Keltus pick, that's like a. Uh, a competitive level draft, and maybe they pick Keltus there too. But are we competitive level players now? Let's see if they can pull it off. I want to see what Tyrion goes at ten, mainly. Sure. He'll probably go Judgment. Moves doing a good job of pulling back the Zagara creep and stuff, get rid of that right away. They're not soaking bottom at all yet. They're still pretending that they've got a good team fight at mid. Looks like Dingstrom's trying to get down there. <laughs> yeah, they don't have a good team fight at it. That's pretty much all they can do. Kill. Varian charges in, and then they maybe get some follow-up damage from Kurami. Oh, if Moog but then be on he's point on, there. it's on the front liner and gets negated. Healed instantly. If Moog would be on point there, then we got Zagara, but... They he's need back, someone he's besides up. Very in bottom. See how you can watch how slowly he. Charles has a good bottom there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He he actually has a little bit of wave clear, a little bit of AOE. It rotated decently. It's gonna hit like orb there. Still, there's no battery down for Val on the. On okay, so so here I would say, yeah, the Keldus is doing the right thing. He needs to go and push mid, or they need to send someone from bot to do it. But, but these guys don't really have great wave clear. Oh, he's not going. They're gonna have a hard. They're gonna have like no chance to contest against four four members, and they have control of the top one. So because of that, you know what? Let's just right, not get to right. worry about go the dragon XP. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe even force false to use his fly. And then you can just ride what, back. What's, what's he doing now? Like he's at mid soaking. Did he fly? I didn't, didn't watch. No, he did not. Okay, so he, he has a fly up. Like that, that's perfect for them. He's getting the XP, and he can instantly rejoin bottom if needed. Yep. Zagara's almost got to top. No, got pushed off. Zagara, I feel like should be able to win this. Yeah, right. should be able to bully this with the uh, banelings, right? Uh, and, the, the, um, and the bug. Hydralisk. They're capping bottom. Uh, they sent the whole team mid, killed Tyrael right. in exchange for bottom when they're losing the top already. Like here, Sajo needs to push. Like you know where he is. He's gonna yeah, yeah. yeah, he's gonna be up there defending. Like push push the wave in. Get some orbs, get a little bit of your health back. Like don't get caught by the zombie wall. Oh, Zagar is down. Yeah, I need to I need it to put creep up too so you can run faster. But, oh I like, got him! Yeah. Also needs to fly top now immediately, but no one else is guarding mid. I think right, this is dragon dragon's over. He's yeah. Okay, he's going down. Hero slain. They got bottom there. Oh, they got bot. Oh, just in time. Nicely done. That's a bit of luck there. Oh, surprising. So false type could get to top right away here. You can fly. Yeah, there in just five fly. Seconds. They send. They send. Go ahead. He has to move to the end of base right there first yeah, before he can fly there. Looks like Zagara's right, gone right up there. Yeah. He is not going there, he's going to mid for some reason. Going to mid, yeah. I think they sent... I'm pretty sure they sent Tyrio mid to help get secure the dragon, which gave away bot. Hair walked mid there, um, because they probably sat on comms we have bot. Yeah. And not realizing they were losing top, so he overextended him himself. This is more what I expect from top though. Like Zagara should be bullying. Yes. Uh, Zagara should not be getting stuck in those zombie walls <laughs> no, though. Absolutely not. She runs too quickly, and she should bull she should be pushing him out every time. Yeah. Walking back to the lane, um, bailing them, and then just putting Hydralis on the Zebo. He's like you with a new break. A new break did a good dive. Yeah, that was a good dive by Wahi there. They're gonna catch nice stun. That was a good stun there. Oh no! Get him, grubby! Yeah, there we go. As expected. A new break is just so yeah. strong. They have both points now. They yep. sent two top. Where's Falstead? Did he die? 
Why'd he back? I missed it. I don't know. Uh, he died. He died in the middle when the yeah. when in, uh, in between the middle and the bottom lane. Now he's back. He he false, could false beat Kalthus. False set wins this. Really? really. Yeah. Yeah. It, he he Kalthus misses stun. Yeah, this should be an easy win for them too. Look. Looks like Tyrael's going tank. Maybe he does go sanctification at 10, we'll see. Uh, when does Fausta get his boom? What level? Oh, Moog's about to go down, possibly. That was a nice oh, zombie has... wall. Cause he did not go He's boom. dead. He's so dead. Beldor. Beldor! <laughs> Spiders! No, just leave. I don't need to get out to you. Yeah. Comes Tyrael. Got him, nice. Wow. That's lucky. Was that nice. a bounce shot? Dude, that was so good. Oh my god, he just saved both our lives. What happened? Uh, Tyrio, they, they both had like one L, What's... and Tyrio would have killed both of them with uh, one skill each, but Gore pushed him away. Okay. And yeah. then didn't heal Falstead there, so, you know. Yeah. They balanced. They balanced, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that happens. Blue team is coming up on 10. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they need to push top, though. I don't know why Zagara is mid now. Same. You say that just because she's got creep up top, so stay with what you've got, or...? She needs to I be feel... more aggressive with her creep as well, put it in these brushes. Yeah, if you're going to be mid, then at least put some vision out where that you need it. Oh, they got Nazima, maybe? Yep. Yep. Now those three should rotate bottom, or oh, rotate mid, oh, unless they're gonna... Well, if they want to cap the point, they need to rotate some bot also. Seems like that their intent was always having false step fly back mid and push it, and then walk to the fights. Again, false step should crush this. Okay, I wouldn't have known that False Tech could beat Kalthus all the time. Uh, he kind of... I, I don't know if he got hit with the stun. He kind of ate the flame strike, but... Yeah. Like, uh, you really just need to dodge one, like the stun or the flame strike, and... Okay. Lightning will take care of him, and you can chase him down. You get a shield by dashing. It's pretty hard for uh, Kalthus to win that. It's incredible that we're this far into the game, though, and have not seen a Dragon Knight yet. Like, it's uh, really tight. Nice, uh, nice clock there by Kelter to stop the new rack. It did take judgment. Oh, yeah. Goodbye. And I guess I'm always of the opinion that it's not that important to get the Dragon Knight so much as to keep out XP by pressuring them. Get them yeah, that, that is true. Do you know if it works like Haunted Mines? Um, and the only reason I know it works this way is because it happened to me yesterday. We didn't get a, we didn't finish the first golem. We had such a push advantage mm -hmm. that they could not leave to go get the golem. Um, and we eventually went and got it at like level 18, and it had you know the the right amount of health. Does this work that way too? Later it is in the game, the more health it'll have, yes. or and more is damage. It because it's the first one, will it have like? No, it's it's not. It's, it's done okay. on actual level of the team. Okay, so a okay. level 23 will have more than a level 20. So every minute that goes well, by in this game, that, that Dragon Knight becomes more powerful. Correct. Okay. It's an aggressive play by Beldor there to, uh, to gust the Malfurion in. It was maybe an okay trade, I don't know. For him. I'm actually really impressed with Geltar's Crimea play. He actually plays it quite well. He does. I need to look to push this really hard right now, though. I would try it my hardest to break the wall. It's too far of a walk to get the top. You see right. Zagara up there breaking their wall, right? 
Yeah. I would definitely try to do that and at least get something out of it. All right, Zagara so doesn't need creep in the lane. Well, I mean, creep in the lane is good. It gives us some speed and regen, but she really needs creep south of the lane so she can see some people coming. Agreed. In, in the brushes. Yeah. So would you put it even that middle bush right above the dragon shrine? Yeah, yeah. I mean, even that would help. Yeah. And then try and get into the, the triangle bush down below. This is a good game. They're really close. I think Gorb's got to be careful there. Like, I mean, obviously, I mean, I, I'm looking at this both is, teams, yeah. so it's it's hard to see. Yeah. They're seeing right Turn that off. I should start switching to a different person, yeah. Put it on blue. What do you feel about Zagara's jungling right now? That was pretty quick. I didn't even know that she'd started it. I wasn't watching well enough. Uh, it's good, because if you look at top, those minions, she's going to catch all the XP from the minions, and now they're going to get additional pressure. That has to be responded to. Oh, they got the knight. Oh, why well, he used Cocoon to, uh, to make that play. Yeah, they got a couple of kills, but... Blue team, but they lost the knight. Yeah. It's okay they should be though. able to get... Like, look what's happening on bottom and top. You got two lanes pushing versus the Dragon Knight. Question is, will they get the keep out of it? Yeah, that's and that's I think the, they will. So you got to be a little concerned about it here. Forty. Oh, Val's Val's rotating. We don't care about the fort. The fort it would be okay to lose. It'd be completely he's fine. Kill. Save he's gonna he's gonna boot uh, Zagara for sure. Yeah. They need other people to follow up. Anyone? Anyone? Nope. You're on your own, Val. Uh. He's, uh, the the Dragonite is extraordinary in team fights, but, but what happened to Red Team? Are they dead? Did they, they get just didn't off pile up? There's two dead, and then they have uh, other three up there. It does so much damage. Wow. Good oh, that was just well done by Blue Team all around, I would say. Yeah. See, the, see the, the pressure caused them to decide to send the Dragonite top. Just by Zagara standing there. And they also had two on bot as well. And they were, like, completely willing completely willing to give away that middle fort in exchange Pretty much for the potentially definition two forts. of uh, split push there. Stay Beldor, no. Stay there, Gorp, heal him. Oh, his cocoons. I don't know if that was a good no, cocoon. That, I think that nice was a pretty terrible cocoon. Nice follow-up damage by Chromie there. Would have rather seen something else cocoon than rather no, than the guy that's about to die. Down for a few seconds. Which, no, I guess you just get their camp. Or... Yeah, camp on the camp on the way out. Yeah. Make sure all the lanes are you're collecting the XP. You have top under control um, with mm -hmm. the vision. Right, and that's maybe make it maybe time to grab the next shrine too, right? She got maul. Oh, she went Nidus. So like, yeah, put her Nidus up there, and start moving around. Like, spread your creep. Right, get bottom camp. Stuff pushing. They definitely could have taken um, the bruisers too, because the camps have to be responded to, they just acted to moving wards. Yeah. So that would have given them an idea of where the enemy team is. So if they are top responding to the bruisers, then you send the whole team bot um, to take that fort. Right. Now I don't even know, can they, when Dankstrom started moving south there, there's a wall right beside him. Does that give vision for the enemy team or not? The walls don't know. Well, they're incoming now, so... Push them back, Felder. There you go. Looks like Zagira took, um... Uh, more basic Isn't attacks. Push them. Uh, they're wiped. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a 4v5, he, right? He's wiped. Like, like, I know they wanted to keep that mercenary camp, but it was too late. Now you've lost the whole team for that mercenary camp. Yeah, I but think... think about how that would have been different had they picked up on the way out the Bruiser camp. Up top? They would have... Yeah, yeah they, they respond to that, they know where they are. Yeah. You don't have Zagara dealing with it, so you, they know where Zagara is now. They know that they have a 5v4. Yeah. Yeah, they just should walk away from this. Wow, that might almost be a point we could... This is Crummy even trying say. to poke here. Going mid and getting XP forward. What are you saying? But you can almost say that we'll see how things go, but that might be the one point in the game where 
when they came back from that fight with four of the enemy team down, that might have been a throw. I don't think it is. They're still like, They're like up a level. one level away. Yeah, up a level. They're going to yeah. be 21st. But, but they the catch up mechanic up. in this game, man, it's something else. What do you mean by that? Like, you get so much more XP if you're behind in XP on kills. Like, the levels will equalize if that happens again. Right, okay. Okay, so Zagara doesn't see them, understandably. I she does. They're on, her, they're on her creep. They, she sees all of them. Yeah. Okay. So she knows not to go in on the five of them. <laughs> yeah, she yeah. needs yeah. to just GTFO. Yeah. Follow up on the judgment. You should just run. Yeah. You shouldn't even sit on your base, probably. Yeah, I mean, with the. You gotta could. Say it's, a new Brack and Burrow could can... Yeah. It's tough to leave those areas. And I understand why she's there. Like, But I know what you mean. Like, there's no. Same. You're not doing anything. And, nope. like, walking down, spreading creep, pushing mid a little bit. Like, if they wanted to kill her, they could have. Yeah, just. then they got two guys, right? Okay. They, have the whole, they know where the whole red team is, and oh, they sent their whole core, team to core, do the camp. It. Totally dive now. <laughs> dive, dive, dive. No, that's gonna Are they be racing? Okay. I think so. I don't see why, why they haven't dove the. Uh... Yeah, the they Zagura? can make a cocoon to that, and she's dead. Yeah, they could have just z z gone straight in. They got a Tyrael as well to follow up. They're getting, they got a fort in exchange for a keep wall. I'm not sure if worth at this point. It's like not worth, I would say. Well, they're not going to get the keep, though, are they? No, but they no. have to come back and do it with the siege now. Right. I'm gonna look but for they... team fight here. Five Without four. Kelpis, who's just finding the cage. Oh, why is Kelpis all the way back there? They, gotta, you have to deal with it. Gotta deal with the siege or else they're gonna lose Yeah. I'm sure that's a great. Nice push by by Beldor to uh, to get rid of all those people so they can solo, uh, solo the Nubarak. That's been such a pain uh, for them. Well done. Beldor has to fly top now. There he goes. Good work, good work. And they've got. He went mid. He went mid. Yeah, he went mid. What? Is that the extent of his range? Like, I don't know mm, how far it goes. Maybe. maybe he can't go the whole way. But Zagara's going top anyway. Okay, question. Why did Zagara walk to lane when she has a Nidus literally sitting in base and then one halfway? And a Nidus sitting on the. <laughs> Discuss. Yeah, stuff happens. Thanks for mate. <laughs> yeah, I've made more than my share, so. It's so hard when you're not in the heat of the battle. Yeah, this could be game this here. Is, this is, yeah. Yeah, 20, level 21 level Dragonite, 21. that's pretty nice. Yeah. Going yeah. bottom lane, they should all push. Everyone bot, fight with it. They can just get yeah. Val out of the way each time, and then Nubrak's still down. Now, how do they get I'll... their back line up to them, though, without going through those same bushes? They, they almost have minions. Like, they need, yeah, use the Dragonite to fight here. Don't. Take yeah, but look at the, the back keep. line. Look at the back line. Bell I know. Like, to push in. That's what I'm saying. The Dragonite should not be sitting on that keep. He's gonna get it, but if they lose that whole team, yeah. it doesn't matter. I mean, the keep will be down. That's good. He has to come back and help now. I, yeah. I feel like he should have been fighting the whole time. They could absolutely wipe him with the Dragonite damage. I gotta protect Gold. Nope. There's Kalthus down. Oh, look at that shit. Like, it's, he hits so hard. The lines are a little messed up there. Yeah. Well, right, just the front line went too far ahead. I think that's what Malaki was saying. Yeah. Like the front line. Oh, yeah, yeah. like the, deep, the Dragon Knight. T you team fight there with the Dragon Knight. Where they, like the red team chose to engage out outside of the keep. If you just team fight with the Dragon Knight, pretty sure you win. They did get a keep though, which is good. So there's constant pressure bot now. Yeah. Both, both team fights were on both sides were horrible. Everybody is so spread out. Yeah, it's just oh, they, they, they needed the DK oh. man. You take bye bye. Did he take bye bye? Nope. Now he's going bye bye. In the boat twenty now. <laughs> the cocoon. <laughs> Super unnecessary. Ah, but look at cigar still still pushing. See, even in observer mode, I'm missing some of that stuff. Like, I'm not looking and around enough, scanning enough. So, so on, on that split push there, I mm hope -hmm. she teleported. Okay, she did. Um, so, so they saw they saw four mid. Yeah. So you you can start counting in your head how many seconds before someone mounts back or backs. 
and she probably had 15 additional seconds that she could have been doing damage. I mean, it's a little thing, but being aware of like how quickly can people get to me based on what I see on the map is good for split bridges to know. Okay. Like you're saying, the timing that would vary by map size and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, like. So Nubrak mounted in beeline for her. How long will it take him to get to her? Ten, right, at least right. ten seconds, probably fifteen. Red team's call is under He's doing a good job of getting into other stuff. Getting back up there. Red team's in trouble, man. With that, the with the catapults always pushing bot and the Zagara threat top, like it's gonna be hard for them to deal with. I think they need, need to, to push a team fight. Yeah, they need. Yeah, that or like pick the Zagara with judgment. But they won't have any follow up on it. They're not coordinated enough for it. Well, they got the new break to follow up. Theoretically, like conceptually, they they should. They could all go up there. And Zagar doesn't have the vision that they just, uh, she could they have. Up. Yeah, they nice whip gas. Up. That was a good gas. Cool. It's a completely saved him. Bye, Gorb. Heal yourself! Hey. Oh, no, he is. Stasis, it's good, though. He did heal himself. Flash! Back down. Orb still in the thick of it. There we go. <laughs> He's gone. Auto attack uh, to death. <laughs> okay, I didn't feel that was so bad for blue. It was okay. But they trade one for one there. And yeah, new well, for uh, gold. Top lane, a tower just got yeah. taken out by the mercs. Stop. So, mm. Like sometimes just buying time in those team fights. If they stay alive, then that's okay. Like Zigara. The red team's core is in peril. For blue, I mean, it's not a bad trade. Yeah. Zagara just knight us. Top. And I don't think that they can contest both simultaneously. And they also have to deal with the keep. Look at Dalton. Falstead, look at Falstead just jumping ahead to deal with it. Yep. Create that pressure. Okay. Hell, he's got 20 seconds on a Nubrak. He sees three people mid. Alright, he killed this back. Yeah. I'm not sure that was going to oh. help. Oh. Where did my for you go, you guys? I knew, I knew the it. pressure had to be there, but. Oh my god, I know I saw, that was that dirty. Was, yeah. Yeah, this... You guys ever think of becoming MLG commentators? Zagara, Nida spot. <laughs> Someone get DK and the game's over. There she goes. This is Perfect. Happened, well played. Like... I cannot believe that she has Nidus set up in those two positions on, on the points. And that they haven't dealt with it? <laughs> yes. <laughs> dealt with it. Yes. It's awesome for her, but yeah. It's... Uh... Her siege damage is uh, pretty crazy, also. Is it nutters? Holy smoke. Yeah, it's pretty <laughs> nutters. <laughs> right, GG, they just got a focus core here. Yeah. So mm. now this is funny because at the beginning, I would have thought that they had lost by the picks, possibly. That the that incredible front line for the other team was going to possibly cost uh, Blue Team the game. It agreed, like. If they coordinated their dives a little bit better, I think that they could have taken care of this Chromie, who has ninety thousand, who has the most damage in the game by a lot. Yeah. So is that maybe Wahi's job as a Nubrak to be a bit more aggressive against her, or is it just that Gorb could push him away if he yeah. did go in? It's. I think. I think it's just maybe a lack of coordination. Sure. And Wahi yeah. had, had two options there. You get rid of the tank with Cocoon and just dive the shit out of Chromie, or you just uh, Cocoon the Chromie, because then right. they have the Zagara usually damage. split pushing. Yeah. I don't know. The I problem, like he... though, actually, the Gust, though, yeah. that probably is what kept them from. Yeah. But if, 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 you, if you Cocoon the Chromie, you Cocoon the damage. Like when you Cocoon, then you're looking at like killing someone. So aren't you better off Cocooning the tank or the healer and then killing Dude. someone? I might have to amend everything. Maybe you cocoon the false ad so you can't gust you. Yeah, uh, that works. And then That's you probably kill why they couldn't damage. Do it. Like usually when I see two damage, like I try and cocoon one of the damage or a healer one because we you want to kill while that cocoon is going on. And so you can turn a, a like a five v five to a four v four, and hopefully when they come out of the cocoon, you're still a five v four. Wow. Anyway, crazy close game. That yeah, was good. good game. That was really fun. Have the highest damage too. It uh, his judgment. He had no follow up after.